What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna show you how to edit your payment terms in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in QuickBooks and there's two ways that we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you the first way, which is clicking on the gear right here at the top. And I'm gonna click right here where it says all lists. Now I'm gonna scroll right here where it says terms. Here you're gonna see all the terms that you have set up already, but let's say you have to add a new one. I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna name it. From here, I can choose whether I want it to be a fixed number of days. I could do it by a certain day of the month. You could do the next month if issued within a certain amount of days. But for this one, we're just gonna create net 45. So then when I create an invoice, I'm gonna have the option to now choose net 45. The second way you could do this, which is a little bit quicker, is I'm gonna click new, I'm gonna go to invoice. Because I already created this on the gear, it's gonna show up, but I'm gonna show you how to do this directly in the invoice. So right here, I'm gonna click add new, and let's say we wanna have this one say due by the 15th of each month. I'm gonna click this, and right there. So I hit save. And now as you can see, the terms say 15th and the due date is automatically gonna to default to that 15th. Or let's say I chose net 45, it's automatically gonna add 45 days from the invoice date and it's gonna create the due date. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao.